wider users adopt and use ICD for the apps and other systems. More generally, why do people get involved with an ICT for D project? A key explanation that everyone implicitly asks themselves is what I call the ICT for D prime question. Why should I do this? What's in it for me? To focus only on that will be a horrible oversimplification, but it can be very powerful to think through the likely answer that each key stakeholder of an ICT for D initiative would give to this question. If those stakeholders see some personal benefit in an ICT for D initiative, they will push to overcome all sorts of barriers to make it succeed. If they don't, the initiative is unlikely to succeed, even if there are no other constraints to adoption and use. We can modify the widely used technology acceptance model to put a bit more flesh onto this very basic idea and to understand the shapers and the consequences of the prime question. In this model, the prime question is performance expectancy or in other formulations, perceived usefulness, the benefit that users expect to get from the technology. This expectation informs their intention to use or not to use, which in turn determines their behavior of actually using or not using the technology. Intentions and behavior are also shaped by effort expectancy, sometimes contracted down to ease of use. How much effort will be needed to adopt the technology, including learning, its accessibility, financial cost. Expectations about costs and benefits are in turn shaped by three wider factors. Facilitating conditions are perceptions about the broader institutional and technical infrastructure. Is support for use easily available? Is broadband easily available? And so on. Demographic factors are individual characteristics that can impact perceptions around technology. So age, income, experience with the particular ICT for the application, etc. Social influence can be defined as the degree to which an individual perceives that important others believe he or she should use the new ICT for D. We can see the model at work in a case study on adoption and non-adoption of M-banking in Nigeria. It showed, for example, that the demographic factor of gender was not a particularly important determinant, but that performance expectancy, such as expectation of increased speed and safety of payment, effort expectancy, so expectation of ease of use, and facilitating conditions, such as presence of external assistance with M-banking, were all linked to greater likelihood of adoption. The model can therefore be applied to all types of ICT for D application and to involvement more broadly in ICT for D projects. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thank you for watching.